What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another video. So this video is for the Windows 7 users who are upgrading to Windows 10 or who have already upgraded to Windows 10 and want to make Windows 10 feel a bit more like Windows 7 and, uh, you know, disable a lot of the problems that Windows 10 has which have probably led them to stick with Windows 7 in the first place until this point. So maybe you've been forced to upgrade because you got a new computer or uh, you need to play a game that's DirectX 12 and you have to have Windows 10 for that, then uh, this video should help you out on uh, making Windows 10 better and improving a lot of the problems with it. So one of the main problems with Windows 10 is the telemetry. So we're going to be looking at uh, fixing the telemetry, getting rid of the telemetry. So that's where Microsoft upload all of the stuff that you search in the search bar and in your web browser and they upload that stuff uh, to their uh, servers, uh, basically key logging you. So we're going to look at getting around that. We're also going to look at fixing these uh, start menu to turn it into a more like a Windows 7 type start menu and getting rid of these metro slash, uh, I don't know, modern UI apps, smartphone apps I call them because for me, they have no place on my desktop computer. This is a, my desktop computer. I don't need any of these uh, smartphone type applications on my desktop computer. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of all of that stuff in this video. So starting off, let's go ahead and look at, um, at getting rid of Windows 10 telemetry. Now, be, if you are, haven't even installed Windows 10 yet, so if you haven't installed Windows 10, this doesn't obviously apply to people who have already installed Windows 10, this first thing. Um, but if you are planning to install Windows 10, then consider installing the Enterprise Edition of Windows 10. That's the version um, that I have right here. If I head to PC properties, you can see I've got Windows 10 Enterprise. Now the reason you might, might want to get Windows 10 Enterprise is that one, it gives you the option to disable the telemetry, which is very important. The other reason is that uh, Windows 10 Enterprise, also when you're kind of launching, when you're initially installing the operating system, it doesn't install as much bloatware and adware or crapware, whatever the term is. Um, they don't install as much of that stuff on your computer as the normal versions of Windows 10 do. And also when you're initially setting up the operating system, it doesn't try and force you to make a Windows Live account. Um, it will just ask you whether you want to hook up to a domain or do a local domain, uh, which is just a local account. So you can just create a local account straight away, which is much easier. So that's one reason you might want to go with Windows 10 Enterprise. So if you are on Windows 10 Enterprise, and don't worry, I'm going to show you guys what to do if you're not on Windows 10 Enterprise. But if you are on Windows 10 Enterprise, you can then go into the search bar and type in GP Edit, which uh, takes you to Edit Group Policy. You can go in here. Now, Group Policy, I don't think is actually available on Windows 10 Home. I think it's only available in Pro, Enterprise and Ultimate Editions. Um, so if we go into Administrative Templates and then go into Windows Components, and then in Windows Components, you'll see that there is uh, something down here called Data Collection and Preview Builds. And then you'll have uh, Allow Telemetry. Now in here, it'll probably be not configured. If you change it to enabled, you'll see there are these four options. Zero is security for enterprise only, which means it will only work on Windows 10 Enterprise. So if you have Windows 10 Enterprise, you can select that for zero, which means no telemetry whatsoever. So you can go ahead and select that. Um, the, other, the other versions of Windows will have one, two, and three. The other versions of Windows may also have uh, zero, but it will be ignored on the other versions of Windows 10. So you need the Enterprise Edition for this to work uh, and click OK. Now, even if you are on Windows 10 Enterprise, there's no guarantee that that will fully disable all the telemetry data. So we are going to do some other things as well. Um, and this this now applies to Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Home users as well. So to disable the telemetry, you've got these two programs here. I always like to use two programs. I don't want to just rely on one program in case one program misses something. Um, so I use two. This is destroy Windows 10 spying and um, spybot anti-beacon. Now I'll link all of this stuff in the description. So you can go ahead and download them from the links in the description. You want to go ahead, right click, run as administrator on destroy Windows 10 spying and click the button to destroy Windows 10 spying. And that's just going to go ahead 
and block a bunch of IP addresses in the firewall, which basically these, these IP addresses are Windows 10 IP addresses, the kind of IPs that Windows 10 is sending its telemetry data to. So it's blocking, blocking them in the firewall, which prevents any of your data from getting out to Microsoft. Um, they also redirect a bunch of DNS servers uh, in your host file as well to 0.0.0.0 so that uh, any information going to those DNS servers do not reach uh, Microsoft servers. Um, so it'll ask you to restart. I'm not going to restart obviously because I'm recording, but you can of course restart once it's done. Um, you can also do stuff like um, if you have Office 2016, you can disable Office 2016 telemetry as well. Okay, so I'm going to go back to something in that in a minute, but the other thing you want to also install is SpyBot Anti-Beacon. This is the portable version, which will be linked in the description. In fact, you should also right click and run that as administrator as well. And then what you want to do is you want to just click uh, Immunize and that'll block everything. And then there's also these optional ones as well, which you can block. Um, so, you know, stuff like OneDrive and Office, some people might not want to to block that stuff, but if you don't have those uh, services, then you can block those as well. So yeah, once you've done that, telemetry is pretty much blocked. So the next thing we're going to look at is basically removing a lot of these Metro apps that we don't need. So we're going to head to settings. Uh, whoops, we're going to head to settings here and go to system and apps and features. Now a lot of the apps and features I have installed are you know my drivers, my Nvidia stuff. Uh, so you know I've already actually removed a bunch of stuff already, but I've kept a few things on just as an example. So if I wanted to uninstall some of these things, uh, you can just select something and click uninstall. So uninstall all the ones you don't want. A lot of these are not Metro apps. Some of them are normal apps, um, like Chrome's a normal app, but. A lot of these are like people and the store and Xbox if you don't want any of those. There's also stuff like Messenger that I've already removed. Now what you need to bear in mind is that some of these cannot be removed. So all the ones that you, that you can uninstall and you want to uninstall then just click the button to uninstall them. But for these ones that you cannot uninstall there is a way to forcibly remove them. Now there's actually two ways to do it. One way you can do is just go straight into Windows 10 spying and go into settings and then you can see there's this delete Windows 10 Metro apps. If you check that button then these are all the apps that it's going to remove and you can just select whichever app you want to remove. You don't have to um, so you don't have to specifically select any one of these. You just select whichever one you want to remove. So if I want to remove um, 3D Builder, I can select 3D Builder or Camera or Xbox. Just select the ones you want to remove and then just go back onto here and click Destroy Windows 10 Spying again and it will delete them. Now if for whatever reason you're one of those people who uh, doesn't trust this software, you might think it's a virus or something, I don't know, it's not. But you know, if, if you're wary about running, you know, Destroy Windows 10 Spying or SpyBot Anti-Beacon, then you can also remove them using the PowerShell, which I'll just quickly go over. So if you run this as administrator, you can also install these apps through the PowerShell. So all you have to do, say I want to remove the Xbox app, and obviously there's no uninstall option. Then inside the PowerShell, you run it as administrator and you search for um, get-x app, or sorry, get-app x package and that will grab all the packages. Now what you want to actually find is the Xbox one. So you can see I found people is right there. And there's the Xbox app right here. So I could just get full package name, copy that package name. That's what you want is the package full name. And then you just want to right click and copy that. And then you can delete it by going to uh, basically changing the command to remove app X package. Then you do dash package and then the name of the package. So you just right click to paste it in. And if I just go ahead and press enter, you'll see a few seconds later, the Xbox app disappears and that's you've uninstalled it. Um, if you're having trouble finding it, say I wanted to find people, but because there's so many in here, I can't find people. The quick, there's another way to do it. You can kind of filter. Um, if I search for get app X package, 
but then I use the pipe command and then do find str for find string um, and find whoops find str there we go and then we search for a specific um, name like people so then you find people and then all you have to do is go back and do remove dash x or remove dash app x package dash package paste in the package press the button wait a few seconds and boom it's gone so you can uninstall it that way as well if for whatever reason you don't trust uh, destroy windows 10 spying but honestly using destroy windows 10 spying is definitely easier you just check the boxes on what you want click the button and it will remove those so anyway, that is how you remove the Metro apps. And for these ones, you can remove the store as well, but um, it's maybe not too recommended in case it causes problems with other things. Um, but as for these ones, you can just unpin them from the start menu to get rid of that. And then your start menu is uh, a lot better. Okay, so now that we've removed uh, telemetry and we've removed the apps, the Metro apps, all we have to do now is get a better start menu because this looks awful in my opinion it looks like the uh, the contacts list on a on a windows phone it's awful um so we're going to go ahead and change this with the windows 7 start menu which is a much better start menu so in order to do that you need to download all of this stuff in fact you don't need all of it um but i will put a link in the description which will have all of this stuff in one zip file that you can just extract and you'll have all of this stuff um, but the first thing in order to get the Windows 7 start menu is you want to install Classic Shell. So we're going to go ahead and run this and accept Next Install. Okay, so once you have Classic Shell installed, if you click the Start menu, you'll see that that is basically the same layout, pretty much exactly the same layout as Windows 7 now. So you've got quick access to your settings and, you know, the control panel and all of that stuff is right there. This PC, boom, straight there. You've got your shutdown and you know sleep log off all that stuff is there as before even the search bar and the programs all of that is there so yeah that's you can basically leave it there if you want or you can customize it and make it uh, look even more like windows 7 by heading into classic start menu settings if that doesn't appear just search for it in the search bar classic and you'll find classic start menu settings you want to make sure it's set to windows 7 style you want to click replace start button, select custom, pick image, and you want to pick Windows 7 start button small icons. It will be in the images folder, which again will be included in that zip file uh, download in the description. So you want to click that and you'll now have the Windows 7 start orb in there. Uh, then you can head to skins and you can customize this. So it's probably going to be on Metro by default. But there's a couple of ones that look like Windows 7. Midnight looks a bit like Windows 7, so you can start that up. It's got a bit of transparency here. I um, quite like that theme. Um, there's also Windows Aero, which looks very much like Windows 7. But if you want to be authentic, then you can install a custom theme, which again will be part of that download in the description. Uh, whoops, if we head to this PC, we go to... Control Panel, Program Files, Classic Shell, and Skins. And then you can just open up this Win7 like. And there's a skin file in here. You just want to extract that in to the Skins folder. And now that should be it. So it's not going to appear straight away. You might have to close it and reopen uh, Classic. Where are we? Classic Start Menu. Yep, now when you restart it, it will be in there. So you've got Win 7 like. I can select this. And now that's much more like Windows 7. If I, Especially if I select Low, then that's pretty much identical to Windows 7 right there. So that is another one that you can do, which is pretty cool. And also to note, we have two search bars now. We've got this one as part of the Start menu, and there's this one down here, which still has the, the Windows 10 kind of start menu. Uh, you can get rid of that just by right clicking in a blank space in the taskbar, going to search and then hidden and then that will get rid of that search bar because you've got one right here anyway. Uh, as for the taskbar you can also customize that if you click show all settings you can go to uh, taskbar 
customize taskbar, set the opacity to 40, and then you can go to, wait, why did our, why did that disappear? That was weird. I guess I didn't, uh, huh, no, I don't know what I did there. I don't know why that, the start icon disappeared. Anyway, go back, go to taskbar, customize taskbar, set it to glass, opacity at 40, and the taskbar texture, again, in the images folder, there's this Windows 7 taskbar reflection. If you go ahead and open that and click or click somewhere else, you'll see that our taskbar changes to the Windows 7 taskbar. Looking very nice. So now we basically have this all looking like Windows 7 again. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do in here. And to be honest, you can pretty much call it call it a day there if you want um, or you can go further and if you want to go further you can even change the kind of you know borders on this to be transparent as well for that you'll need aero glass which i'll go ahead and show you how to install so open up this zip file or rar file you'll need uh, winrar and 7zip of course for this stuff go into c and create a new folder in your C drive, just call it uh, Aeroglass, one word. Open that up, extract all of this in to that folder. Click the uh, C Visual C++ 2013, run the version that corresponds to your version of Windows, whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit version, and click Install. I already have this installed. Once it's installed, you can then go into, again, your version of Windows, and install x64 run that as administrator you may get an error but you'll see that that is transparent because you can kind of see behind it there and then what you can do is uh, uh, also in the download there's this aero 7 theme for windows 10 uh yep that's in a folder so you can just right click extract here open it up and all you have to do is double click Use the anniversary update, even if you're on the creator's build, uh, use the anniversary update version. Double click on each one of these. And when you double click on them, I I'm, I'm, didn't double click on them because I already have them installed, but um, when you double click on them, they'll appear inside your theme settings. So you see Aero 7, Aero 7 Clear. If I select Aero 7, you get a more sort of transparent uh, border on your windows which is more like, you know, Windows 7 kind of style. It's not exactly like Windows 7, but it's it's similar. So now if for whatever reason it's the this theme is not running for you, um, it's not working properly, make sure you also install this UX style program. So you go ahead and install this, and that should unlock the themes so that you're able to apply them inside the theme settings uh, if you weren't able to do it before. Yeah, that is basically it, guys. That is everything I want to show you for if you're going from Windows 7 to Windows 10. You can basically look, make Windows 10 look like Windows 7. You can make it function like Windows 7 with the start menu. You can remove those awful Metro apps that have no place on a desktop computer. And uh, you can also, of course, disable the telemetry. Now, again, I'm still not 100% sure that destroy Windows 10 spying and SpyBot anti-beacon will 100% remove every single little piece of uh, telemetry data that Microsoft are using, especially since when they come out with new Windows updates, they usually add other sneaky little tactics in to harvest your data. Um, but it seems to be the best solution at the moment is to use those two pieces of software. Um, I'll update things if that changes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you liked the video or found the information useful. Comment if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.